Hello everyone, so this is intended to be a quick video on how much this bike actually costs to build and uh, is it even cheap to build a bike. So let's start. Hope Fortis um, 26 uh, rims with Pro 4 hubs, uh, they came in at £382.50 back in 2020 uh, but also had to pay a £67.50 for a micro spline, um, uh, uh, spline for the back. So in all, 450 quid. Um, the tires, these are Minion DHR2s. Um, I bought two of those, they came in at 62 quid. I also still run tubes uh, and two of those, seven pound 50. And brake discs. So uh, these uh, two, a pair of these cost about 50 quid. Um, pads, the metallic pads, a pair of those uh, cost about, or two sets, uh, cost um, 38 pounds. Uh, so the fork, the fork uh, was an absolute steal, uh, brand new, uh, back in 2020 for 500 pounds. Um, headset and spacers, so yeah, bit of an extravagant item, being hope, but uh, headset, spacers, 81 quid. The hope stem, again, <laughs> being hope, an extravagant item, um, that was 85 pound 50. I've also got various bolts, uh, these uh, titanium oil slick bolts around the bike and they total 58 quid. And in terms of the brake levers and the brake calipers, they were off an, another bike. Um, but, you know, if I was going to try and sell them, I'd probably want 100 quid. Um, dropper lever. Been a Fox item and everything, even though I've got it uh, at a discount, it was still 55 quid. Uh, bars, NVDH bars, now again, off another bike, but if I was going to sell them, probably would want uh, 120 quid. And um, the grips, uh, they came in at 24 quid. Uh, the stem cap, which allows me to mount my Wahoo, 14 quid. Um, where are we at? Um, the frame, uh, that was 600 quid. And if, uh, in terms of the shifter, cranks, the uh, chain ring, the chain, the cassette and the rear mech, uh, that was all £370 um, last year as a, as a group deal. So yeah, again, probably quite cheap. Ball cage, £7.50. <laughs> um, dropper post, uh, Fox transfer item, 150ml, that cost 250 quid. Um, saddle, that's quite old now, it's bought in 2018, but that was uh, 50 quid. Um, all these ca posh cables and housing. So, you know, the braided hoses, the um, the, the braided uh, cable outers, the actual cable inners, the ferrules, the um, uh, little cable ends. Um, in total cost £84. Bottom bracket. Now, again, this is a, an overly posh hope item. And that cost um, 76 pounds. <laughs> um, never cal calculate all this stuff. Wahoo sensors, so I've got a wheel sensor and a, a crank sensor cadence. Um, combined, that's 60 pounds. Uh, pedals, at the moment I've got V11s on. They're about 40 quid, though they cost 40 quid for the set. Um, I normally have brand dogs. So uh, that, they're, they're, they were 77 pounds a set, so we'll, uh, we'll calculate them. So in total, <laughs> If you can, uh, and you're probably there with your calculator, um, that's three thousand pounds of spend over, you know, albeit a few years. And if I was to include the uh, bars and the uh, brakes uh, with that uh, formula um, of how much would I sell them for, uh, if I was going to, that'd be three thousand two hundred twenty pounds for um, this entire bike. And to buy uh, the Big Wig Race, which is their top line Big Wig model, uh, would probably be about £2,300. Arguably different spec, and there's a lot of stuff on here which is going to be way better, and stuff maybe comparable, and some stuff that may be slightly worse.